right now at 6. Nine Investigates uncovered disturbing new allegations against a former foster dad accused of placing hidden cameras throughout his house. There were a majority of the rooms, um, bedrooms, bathrooms, uh, the living room. Um, so we just believe that there could have been more. Now police have the daunting task of trying to identify the children in tens of thousands of videos and pictures. Investigators say a child living in that Sanford man's home found a hidden camera in her bedroom. What was on that phone? Just actually unspeakable. Good evening, I'm Greg Warmoth. And I'm Martha Sigalski. We first told you last Thursday when Sanford police arrested Justin Johnson Sr. He's been a foster parent since 2019 and has fostered at least 20 children. But investigators say they found videos and pictures dating all the way back to 2011. Investigative reporter Carla Ray sat down with the lead investigator in this uh, disturbing case. Carla, you shared some details about this arrest affidavit. Simply disgusting. I know you've been doing this a long time and it made you sick to your stomach. Yeah, almost 10 years here in this market alone, Martha, and reading this, this is the worst case that I've ever read the details of. We had questions for DCF, which is why I'm here at their headquarters in downtown Orlando tonight. We're trying to get some answers about this man's time as a foster parent, including the number of kids that were in his care at one time and whether his divorce in 2020, a year into his time as a foster parent, would have affected the way that those children were placed in his care. We're still working to get those answers, but I can tell you, this involved kids as young as two weeks old, all the way up to teenagers. Sanford police and the FBI have both charged Justin Johnson Sr. with crimes related to the production of child porn. The subjects in those videos, foster children the state was supposed to protect. Children, they can't choose, you know, who their parents are, who their caretakers are for the most part. So that's why, you know, there's necessary steps that are supposed to be taken to make sure that they are put somewhere um, in a safe place. Sanford Major Crimes Investigator David Thomas has the stomach-turning task of reviewing tens of thousands of images collected from wall socket cameras and Johnson's cell phone, trying to identify additional victims. Since 2019, police say Johnson had 20 foster children in his care. His federal affidavit describing one of the victims as an 18 day old baby. But Thomas says the videos date back even further more than a decade and likely include many more victims who were not in the foster system. I've never seen it at all honestly but just the amount of videos that have been recorded it seems as if it was something that was on a constant basis for however long that he's actually been doing it. Court records show Johnson was married at the time he first became a licensed foster parent but he divorced in June of 2020. It's unclear whether that change in marital status could have impacted the number of kids that he was supposed to be caring for. We asked DCF for any records of site visits, home inspections, or follow-up interviews of the children in his care to see if any red flags may have been missed putting children in harm's way. For somebody to be able to exploit them or to take advantage of them um, emotionally, physically, is just very troubling. Now, a spokesperson from DCF told me that they are looking into my questions. We do expect that to take some time to come back. Meanwhile, Johnson has a detention hearing in federal court tomorrow. Something that investigator passed along to me that they really want to get out to the public is that they believe because of the number of kids that were in and out of this man's home and the range in age here, they believe that they likely had friends over from time to time. So if you believe your child ever came in contact with this man or any of the children that he he was fostering, they want you to call Sanford Police. Reporting live, I'm Carla Ray, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.